get your horse to lay down. Uh, there's lots of mes methods to do this. I prefer not to use any ropes. I don't want to ever force my horses to do something, especially laying down. Laying down takes a lot of trust and a lot of patience. And I want my horse to know that he can trust me and that I'm not going to force him to lay down ever. So if your horse doesn't respond to it, I don't think you should keep doing it. My horse Buddy, he does do it, but um, he doesn't do it every day. He doesn't really like to lay down. He's a little older, so um, he has a bit of a harder time laying down. But Lenny really enjoys it, so it's something that I really encourage him to do. <laughs> He's messing with my boots right now. Um, so basically, um, what I'm basically going to teach him to do is to roll on command, and then eventually I'm going to intercept that roll. So once he lays down, I'm going to go right over and try to feed him a treat so that he doesn't have the opportunity to roll. Right now, Lenny usually still rolls, but um, we're going to try to stop that. Um, so the way that you'd start this is just watching where your horse likes to roll. Um, so after you ride them, <laughs> after, uh, you're messing with me right now, aren't you? You're just a nosy little fella. Um, so after you ride them or give them a bath, just let them loose in the arena and let them roll on their own. And then what I would do is once they roll and once they get back up, you can go over them nice and calm and give them a treat, tell them that was the right thing to do, and pay attention to their favorite spots to roll. Because wherever their favorite spot to roll is, that's where you're gonna start teaching it on command. So Lenny's favorite spot is right over here, as you, can, you might be able to see, he already did roll here once today. Um, so I'm gonna ask him to do it again. Um, so the way that I started this is I just kinda would let him roll. He was really scared of being down by me. So I had to take it real slow with him. I had to just let him roll stay pretty far away from him, and then give him a treat once he got back up. And very slowly I was able to work towards him and get a little closer. Um, I did teach him the command before doing it um, on a lead rope, but I would actually suggest if you can get your horse to lunge around and lunge at a walk, and then slowly get them to, um, to start rolling uh, on the lunge line, then you can put a command to it um, once you already get them doing it on the lunge line. Um, with Lenny, he was a little scared of me, so I actually wanted to teach him how to roll and, he, and let him know he could do it away from me first before I got him on a lead rope. Um, but then I started teaching him to move around me and find his favorite spot and be interested in the dirt, and then eventually he did go down. And as you can see right now, he's already interested in doing it, so we better get to it. Um, Lenny's command, so I'll show you how I started doing it. Right now his command is that I stand up and kick my foot in the dirt um, because when I first started, I want to get him really interested in the dirt so I'd kind of play with it and see if he would play with it. And right now he's a bit more interested in me, but there, see, now he's playing with it. That little bit of sniffing, I would reward that when I started. I'd give him, I'd pet him, I'd give him a treat, I'd tell him that that's exactly what I was looking for. And then once he got the hang of that, I would ask him, he knows how to lunge, so I'd ask him while I was down, move around me and then as he's walking I put it together so that he'd start thinking about rolling so that was a really good example I'd ask him to lunge at a walk and then say hey get interested in that dirt and that's something that little bit that, that little bit that I just got that's something I would record so now he, he knows what he's supposed to be doing so I'm going to stand up and I'm going to keep the dirt tell him down and that pawing, that's another thing. I wouldn't run up to him and tell him that was good, but I definitely tell him that that was exactly what I was asking for. Um, once you see that your horse is getting interested in rolling, really encourage it. So Lenny should go down pretty quick. He's usually pretty good at this one. And now that he's, he's about to go down, I think. So when he starts going down, I'm gonna see if I can intercept his roll since he's gotten used to me coming um, it might not work. He still sometimes likes to roll, but that's okay.
make sure that you sit far back enough that the horse does not lay on your chest because that can be really dangerous. Um, you can't really get out of the way as quickly if your horse is on your chest and then you're laying flat underneath your horse. But this is pretty good, so yeah, that's how you get your horse to lay down and lay flat. And he seems pretty comfortable right now. He'll probably get up in a minute. There we go. And then I'll have him wait, wait. And then I'll tell him up. And then he's allowed to get up. So that's how you teach your horse to lay down. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave that below in the comments. Or you can find me a little bit faster on Facebook at Russell Corner Ranch or on Instagram at rcr.whitehorse. Thanks, guys.